we asked the, pro the kids to do a project on making a toothpick car, we found over the, we've done this now for 16 years, and over those 16 years we found that they have not particularly liked physics, so what we try to do is have them do this project to kind of spice up the concepts that we cover in physics. We'll give them six weeks to construct a car out of toothpicks, and uh, everybody has to use the same kinds of materials for this, toothpicks, glue, the same types of wheels. The only thing that, that can vary is that they have to uh, they can come up with their own way of making it move. But we encourage, as a matter of fact, we have them draw kind of like a blueprint of the car before they uh, actually build the car. Most of the kids generally don't pick up on the formulas and so forth, but when we ask for a reaction, that's one of the things that they always tell us. I know, I understand how to measure speed now. I understand how to measure acceleration, so it does work. They put it on the starting line and it has to move on its own power, and they have to be able to measure the speed and the acceleration. We have three days of racing the cars. To It's a, an elimination is what it amounts to, where we try to get the cars with the best speed, and we also award prizes and so forth for best design. Depending on the year and the group, I have had um, girls that have built the best and then other years have boys. This year, it's kind of a mixture of both. Elizabeth Fink had the best entry this year. What was your reaction when you were told that yours was the winner? I'm very proud. Mm -hmm. Since we're moving next year, we won't be here next year. I guess this probably will be the last year. We'll be at Bryan Station, and so it, uh, we won't be, I don't suppose that we'll be doing this anymore. This model was made by a special education student. It didn't win first place, but according to teacher Pat Shelton, was probably the best designed of all of this year's models. At Winburn Junior High with photographer Greg Singleton. John Sullivan, traveling on. And that's a look at 27 News First at noon for this midday. And now it's time.